visit. Now, this is our reality. Most of us are always limited to only one stream of income. Now, let me take you to the Bible. The book of Genesis, chapter number 2, verse number 10. The Bible says there were four streams that emerged from the Garden of Eden. So meaning, the beautiful Garden of Eden was not watered by one stream. Now, if your life is watered by one salary, if your life is watered by one income, if your life is watered by just one source, it is watered, but it can flourish by having other streams to water it. And this is our reality. Ladies and gentlemen, reality is that if you get paid and you get a salary on whatever day, when your salary comes into your account, it says, hello, before you even say, hi, your salary is gone. <laughs> That's our reality. You know why? Because there are so many debit orders that are ready for your salary, even before it comes. And this is our reality. Guess what? There are people who have not been to holiday for a very long time. And it's because your salary cannot cover your holiday. Your salary is enough to take care of your day-to-day. -day. But you were not born to be a day-to-day -day person. But Linda, why are you talking about these things? Let me, let, me, let, me, let me bring some meat into it. Reality is that all of us have got 24 hours a day. And averagely, a person who sleeps a lot sleeps for seven hours. Meaning if you sleep for seven hours, you've got how many hours left? 17 hours. With the 17 hours that you have, wherever you work, you work for eight to nine hours at most. Which means you have how many hours left? Eight hours left to run your own business. One of the greatest guys that I respect, his name is Jim Ron. Jim Ron speaks about the magic of part-time. He says, work full-time wherever you're working. But during your spare time, which is your eight hours, work on your gift, work on your calling, work on your talent. He says, work on your talent such that when people start using your talent and you are making a little bit of money from that, work hard on your talent until you start earning from your part-time. Your talent is your part-time. When you start earning from your part-time more than what you are earning on your full-time, you can say bye-bye to your full-time and focus on your part-time, which is what you were born for. I'm an engineer. But in 2010, I said bye-bye to corporate world. I've worked for different companies, and every company that I worked for, I was studying. Because the Bible says, study to show yourself approved, a workman unto God that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Because everything that we are doing, we are doing to the glory of our Lord. And when you know you are a steward, you know that it's not people who will give you the glory, but it's the Lord that you are serving who will say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Sometimes it's hard for us to come to that realization because we have gotten to ourselves where we're living from hand to mouth or where we're living to impress. Don't live to impress, live to express the gift that you are. You are a gift, and when you look at the word gift, it's G-I-F-T, which stands for God-given, inborn, free tool. A gift that you are is nothing that you did but it's something that God has bestowed in your heart. When you are walking in the area of your gift, you walk like I'm doing right now on stage. This is it for me. This is it. If you were to wake me up in the morning at 2 o'clock and say, and just give me a subject and say, let's speak on this subject, I will wake up, I will say something. Why? Because this is my area of advancement. This is my next level. This is something that I would do. I always tell people that I'm so thankful to what God is doing. I love doing what I'm doing such that I will do it even if I was not paid. But I thank God that when my voice comes out, it is always accompanied with an invoice. Voice, invoice. <laughs> I 
And if you were to know my story, you'll be shocked. Raised by a single parent, my mother only went up to standard five. But as I speak to you, I've got five different higher education qualifications because I needed to balance that. <laughs> Now, our reality is that for us to advance to our next level, we need to push ourselves, we need to push our limitations, and we need to push our boundaries. Remember what the Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, from verse number 3. The Bible says, for though we walk by flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God for the pulling down of the strongholds. Casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Bringing our very own thoughts to the obedience of Christ. So I'm here to challenge us. To say, whether you are in business, remember the reason number one why you are in business, so that you'll have the courage to advance to the next level.